I'm gonna butcher every single English word that's involving this because it might not even be English words. Welch mass. Welch mass. Claudio Scroy. Can't pronounce his name. There you go. Now, I like. The every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. Today, today I got a cigar where I'm gonna butcher every single English word that's involved in this because it might not even be English words. Uh, I believe this is from German engineered cigar called Welchmas. There you go, Welchmas. And literally, there's not a lot of information on it. Like, uh, first of all, the company named German Engineer Cigar obviously is not German Engineer, right? Because I don't think there is some sort of engineering involved making cigar when somebody already invented how to make cigars. Right? But this is released under Autonom lineup. And the official name is... Mass. And let's see if I get some information. Ecuadorian Habano Escuro wrapper, binders Nicaraguan, and filler is Esteli and Jalapa uh, region of Nicaragua. The blend is developed in partnership of Claudio Scroy. Can't pronounce his name. This is a Robusto size, 5x50. And it's $12. And I don't have a lot of information on this. I literally found this uh, cigar in uh, industrial cigar shop in Texas. So when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, let's get one. As to how good it is, we'll find out. Okay. It has those like floral cologne smell. I really hope this is not. Uh. Yeah, it's like a um like a furniture shop, you know, like a not like a old furniture shop, but like a pure one furniture shop. You know, it's got that I don't know, leathery floral smell. That's what it smells like. All right, let's cut. Taste is leathery. Now, there's not a lot of word that can describe watch mat in terms of as an English word. It's basically feeling of like world pain. Like world is weird. It's like feeling that the world is not good enough for you. Kind of like it's like suffering feeling. So well, that's how I take it. So I don't know if, if there's any other definition for it. That's clear enough where people can just understand. But just feel like it's like complaining. Like the world is not good enough for you kind of thing. <laughs> All right. Let's light this up. I really hope this cigar is good. I already smoked a few days of bad cigars. I want to smoke a good cigar. Oh. 
<laughs> wow, what was that? It's like a pile of dirt. It's got that grittiness to it. A little bit of, I, I guess, like some sort of maybe cinnamon spice, something like that, that kind of spice up your nose a little bit and light up the side a little bit more. A lot of smoke output, though. Very dark note. A little bit of like dark roasted liquid coffee. Like watered down liquid pepper. I, I still think that's closer to a cinnamon burn rather than a pepper burn. Maybe a chili burn. Has a little bit of like a um, sour darkness to it. A little bit of licorice. Like I said, uh, it has that floral cologne taste too. All right, let me smoke one third and we'll see where this goes because I don't have much to talk about this other than I bought it. Yeah, be right back. All right, I'm one third of the way through. I'm choking here because the amount of smoke just keep coming up. I had a fan going, but still, every time I took a puff, it's just everywhere. So, the flavor. It's um, it's a woodsy flavor. It's a very dark woodsy flavor, though. It's but it doesn't taste like anything different. It just feels dark. It feels heavy. It feels compact. But I can't tell the difference between that and I. I don't know. It just tastes in a in a unspecific way. Dark, woodsy, and floral. And in a way, you were like, ah, oh, it's nothing different, but it just tastes kind of pleasant. Uh, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's like a typical cigar that's woodsy, that's dark tone, but it's warm. I think the flavor is quite warm. Um, it makes me want to go drink something like a heavy, warm, creamy coffee or hot chocolate or something like that the, the cigar itself is not sweet but makes me want to go drink something sweet if that makes any sense so anyways because the band is so big it's in the way i took it off already and i cannot rip it apart because it doesn't want to be apart so i'm just going to show it like that i'm going to flatten out there you go now i like this look but i hate this look because like when you when you're smoking the cigar on the right hand, it's correct. But when you're smoking with the right hand, now it looks like that. It just... Right? Like, it's telling me that if I use my left hand to smoke, it's the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? If I take pictures, I cannot take it on the left side. I take it on the right side. There's a right side up. So I, I don't like that, but I do like that. I, I don't like the paper they use. I do like how they designed this. You can see the bottom part is like, off center it's not it's, it actually looks like it's cut but it's off center but, you know here's the thing though i thought german engineering is precise how can you have yeah not center come on but yeah anyways into the second third let's go that actually took me a while that took me like 20 minutes to smoke that first third for some reason it's just take a while 
I, I this is a guy that makes you want to go slow for some reason. But second there, you're back. So second there. Still a lot of smoke keep choking my nose. Uh it's about a medium plus cigar, uh, based on how I'm feeling right now. Uh in terms of flavor. Second there, it starts to work to a less dark note. I start to taste a little bit of vanilla. Um, maybe a toasted nut of some sort. And a little bit of chocolate. And each of them still just kind of burns my nose a little bit, but it's not like immediate pepper kind of thing. It's actually not bad if you're looking for a dark cigar. It also leaves this taste of like an air freshener, grassy note. Like one of those, you know, you buy those jelly, you open up the top and you fresh up the, the room. If you get one of those like a wild earth thing, grassy, fresh notes, it's kind of like that. It has that little bit of taste to that. And that's pretty much it. It's not very particularly complex, but it's so dark and like, you know, work together and kind of it's a pleasant note, but you don't know what the hell is going on notes. So in a way, it fits the name perfectly. And I was going to like just trash over this cigar. Because I don't see which part of it is German engineering, baby. But um, the cigar itself is not bad. All right. $12. Uh, for Robusto size, I think that's a little bit too expensive. I feel like right now, as of this moment, the, uh, the, with the experience... It's a $10 cigar. But it's not too far from 12 You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Uh, so far, not too bad. The transition got better. And uh, I'm into the last stir. And I'm just going to take my time and smoke that last stir. And we'll get to the summary. Be right back. Okay, last stir. It's a pretty good cigar. Uh, the second, third flavor just basically works its way to the last stir. And then stays that way. Um, it dropped uh, the string a little bit, became medium cigar. So yeah, twelve dollar. I wouldn't say it's unreasonable, but I think it's still, I still feel like it's more like a ten dollar cigar, based on what it is and the size and all that stuff. So ten dollar, if you can get it, great. If you can, twelve dollar, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, it's a cigar I can recommend people to try, definitely. So. That's it for this cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, and um, comment and share. Uh, also, make sure to check out all the other people's uh, um, cigar reviews. I have it right in the de description. Find them, look in them up. They're pretty good. They're way better than me. So, you know, I, I barely get reviews. So, and that will be it for today. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.